We have Commissioner of the Chicago Water Reclamation District, Deb Shore. We have Alderman Deb Mell from the City of Chicago. And Alderman James Kappelman, also from the City of Chicago. Let's give a big round of applause for these elected officials and all the officials that have come out to support us. Thank you, Kevin. All right, joining us today is a longtime survivor living with HIV. Give it up for Bruce Barnes. Standing in for Bruce is Bridget Leahy. Okay, I'm, I'm next on the schedule. I'm Bridget Leahy, Director of Government Relations with Planned Parenthood of Illinois. Oh, you guys look fantastic out there. I am cold, I am wet, and I am absolutely thrilled to be here. Are you thrilled? Oh, great. Okay, so Planned Parenthood, we have believed in civil rights since the beginning of our founding. And this is the civil rights issue right now before us. I was at a wedding this weekend for my cousin. It was a fantastic Southside Chicago Irish yuck it up dancing, you know. We had a great time, but I couldn't help thinking about my friends who are in a civil union, and they ha are raising two beautiful little boys together, and they don't have the same thing. They don't have marriage. And I would love for them to get married and have the same rights that my cousin got when she got married on Saturday. So I want you to realize and let politicians know that we don't want politicians making the decisions about what our families look like. We decide what our families look like. And so if you haven't already, I mean, it's great that you're all here, but the folks who need to hear you are inside. So if you haven't already, I want you to call your state representative and I want, to give the, I want you to give them this message. We want marriage now. Okay, now I want you to say it with me. We want marriage now. Hi, my name is Bonnie Grabenhofer. I'm the Action Vice President for the National Organization for Women in Washington, D.C. But Aurora, Illinois is my home, and I am thrilled to be here today with this huge crowd of very strong activists. Thank you. Thank you for being here and for all that you do and for being here in the rain. I have worked with many of you as an activist and as president of Illinois now. I'm proud of the work that NOW has done for lesbian rights since 1971 and for marriage equality for nearly two decades. There's an incredible momentum for marriage equality. Many organizations and individuals have done a whole lot of work to get us to where we are today. But we can't stop now. We must give everything we have so that Illinois becomes the 15th state to say I do to marriage equality. Now is the time. I have been with my partner for 39 years. We were finally able to get a civil union, but you know, it's just not the same. Now is the time to end the second-class status of civil unions. Now is the time to recognize the committed, loving relationships of all citizens of Illinois. We deserve the recognition and the protections that only marriage can provide. A huge majority of Illinois citizens support marriage equality. Now is the time that the Illinois House catches up and does the right thing. We deserve it now. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Brother Michael Laboza, 
I'm a bisexual, radical, and retired Orthodox Catholic monk of the Eastern Rite. I'm the founder of Bisexual Queer Line Chicago from 2010, and I'm the very first recipient of the Michael Page Award. Michael Page is the creator of the bisexual flag. That is a first, and that's in Illinois. It is not a gay thing. It is not a straight thing. Marriage is a human rights thing. Since my parents, one man, one woman, which are two consenting adults, have the right to marry, then guess what? All consenting adults have the same right to marry. After all, according to 2011 Bisexual Invisibility Report out of San Francisco and 2012 UK Bisexuality Report out of the UK, bisexuals struggle more than our straight, gay, and lesbian counterparts regarding major life challenges and concerns. Therefore, bisexuals exist. Bisexuals are a part of human rights, even the human rights of immigration reform, marriage, and marriage equality. And as a bisexual, I'm as sure of three things. As a bisexual, my confusion is I am wondering why marriage equality has not passed in Illinois yet. That's my confusion. As a bisexual, the only phase I am going through is working for marriage equality in Illinois until it becomes law and then some. And as a bisexual, my only privilege, as a bisexual, my only privilege is knowing that now more than ever, working together and not discriminating any one of us, it is time for marriage equality without apology. Marriage equality with. I can't hear you people. Marriage equality without apology. Marriage equality without apology. Marriage. No, no, no. If a bisexual can be louder than most of you gay, lesbian, and straight people. Come on, prove us wrong. Let's work together. Marriage equality without apology. Marriage equality without apology. Marriage equality without apology. And that goes for Representative Greg Harris. This time, don't fuck us over. We. Oui. Our next speaker is Illinois Education Association President, Cinda Klickna. It is an honor to be here today representing the more than 130,000 educators across this state who are members of the Illinois Education Association. And every single day, our educators are in schools across this state working with students and helping them understand the need for equity and freedom. So today, we rally for true equity. We need to show our students that they live in a state where all people have the right to marry whom they love. Some of our students come from families with same-sex partners. And giving these students' parents the right to marry shows true equity and freedom. Today, you can join educators and become a teacher, educating the legislators about providing equity and freedom for all people. Pass this bill to strengthen families. Pass this bill to bring security to families as provided through marriage. Pass this bill because it is the right thing for Illinois. And pass this bill because it is truly about equity and freedom. Thank you, Cinda. We have with us today another powerful voice for unions, the president of the AFL-CIO of Illinois, Michael Kerrigan. 
Good afternoon. Welcome to Springfield. Many important issues are voted on in that building behind you, the state capitol. But none, none that are important come without a hard fight and a hard struggle. So we're going to have to dig in and get this done. Same-sex couples are discriminated against in many ways. Paying of federal taxes as a couple, taking family medical leave to care for their spouse, collecting spousal Social Security benefits, veterans benefits, employment benefits. Every day that goes by without recognition is a day that these couples and their families lack key protection and benefits. This inequality is unfair, unjust, discriminatory, and just isn't right. It isn't the American way, it isn't the union way. Marriage equality demonstrates critical union principles of fairness, dignity, and solidarity. That's why the Illinois AFL-CIO, our vice presidents, our executive board unanimously passed a resolution of support on September 26th supporting marriage equality in Illinois. We bring 160,000 working women and men in this state to help make this a law. We achieve a better society when all have equal footing. Social and economic justice goes hand in hand. The labor movement across Illinois and this country will not stand idly by and not act on behalf of our brothers and sisters. The time has come to pass Senate Bill 10. Let's get it done. Thank you. Our next speaker is Rudy Lozano, who comes from a proud family of political activists. He's from the Little Village community, and he works for Illinois Coalition for Immigrant and Refugee Rights. Good afternoon. I said good afternoon. I'm proud to be an ally of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender movement here in Springfield today. As I rode the bus down here from Little Village in Chicago with Latino youth from Pilsen, Back of the Yards, Little Village, Humboldt Park, Listening to their stories, I thought about my own family. I thought about what my family has fought for for decades, for workers' rights, for multiracial unity, for comprehensive immigration reform. We fought for equality, justice, access to resources, and against sexism, homophobia, racism, classism, discrimination, oppression, and injustice in all forms. I was taught that an injury to one is an injury to all. Nobody should be denied the right to love and marry whomever they choose. 